Okay, so derivatives and inverse functions, AP calculus, AB. Let's start off with this fact that we know and go from there. A fact that we know is if we take a function and put its inverse inside of it, and I want you to try this, it should turn to x. So if, you, if you're sitting there going, what, the, what are you talking about here? Please go and see one of my videos on inverses, but this is true. So this is what I'm suggesting to you now, that what if we take the derivative of this and what if we take the derivative of this? So we take ddx of this, because I want to show you where this rule comes from that we're going to be using. And if we take the derivative of this, we get ddx of f of f inverse of x is equal to, well, ddx of x, where this x and this x are the same, right? So if we take the derivative of this, it's just equal to 1, isn't it? And ddx of this, hopefully you can see that this is a chain rule here. So what I'm going to do here is just say this. I'm going to say... Let the inverse of f prime of x equal g of x. Now look at this for a second. Now we have f of g of x, right? And we want its derivative. And of course, the derivative of this, if you look at it, it's just the chain rule here, isn't it? So what we get is we get f prime, right? We get f prime at g of x times g prime at x is equal to 1. And Again, for this derivative of inverse is the rule that we're going to be using over and over, is that g prime at x is equal to 1, right? If you want to get this thing by itself, you divide by this, don't you? 1 over this, so f prime at g of x. So here's the rule that we're going to use today. We'll find the derivative of inverses, and here is the proof of that, all right? So let's try a problem. So here's, the, here's example 1. Let's let this happen. So let's let f of x equal the square root of x minus 4 and say that g of x is the inverse of f of x. And then what we're, gonna, we're asked to do is find, so here's our imperative here, find g prime at 1. So what we're going to start with is this idea of right here. We have to do a little bit of math backwards first though, right? Because remember, if we want g prime at 1 and it's the inverse, then this thing right here is the domain of f of x that makes f of x equal 1, right? So f of x equals 1, right? Because when we have inverses, the, do the range and domain values switch, right? So if we have an inverse of something, the xy becomes the yx, doesn't it? And that's what it is to invert a function. So we have to figure out when this is true. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set f of x equal to 1. So 1 is equal to the square root of x minus 4. Solving this out, we'll square both sides and then add 4 to both sides. We'll get x is equal to 5. Is that okay? Now if you look at this, now going back to this rule, this rule right here, we know we're just reminding ourselves what our path is. We want 1 over f prime five right so we don't have f prime right so here's the dilemma now that we need f prime so let's find f prime at x right so here's f of x right here so f of x is equal to x minus four to the one half power so f prime at x is equal to one half right x to the four fourth to the negative one-half power, right? I'm just using the chain rule here. The derivative of the inside is one, so it doesn't change anything, right? So we know now that f prime at x is equal to one-half over the square root of x minus four. Let me say that again. f prime at x is equal to one over two times the square root of x minus four. Now we'll take f prime at five. So f prime at 5. Why am I doing this? Because remember, we're going back to this. f prime at 5 is equal, is equal to 2 times 5 minus 4. So f prime at 5 is equal to 1 half. Now remember, we have to put that back in up here, right? So just to keep try to keep track of what we're doing here. We're still over here, right? So we want 1 over f prime at 5. f prime at 5 is 1 over 2, isn't it? So g prime at 1 is equal to 
one hat. Oh, whoa, 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 hello is equal to two. All right, so I'm gonna do a couple more examples and and, and I'll post them, okay? G prime, okay? Good work.